Hi guys, what is going on? This is Ace here, and I'm back with another Roblox Studio video. So today, I'm going to do something a little bit different. Clearly, you can see that I'm on Ro Roblox Studio, but today I'm going to be doing a tutorial over a, a traffic light little trick that you can do for your worlds that is within Roblox Studio. I have not seen this in any of the worlds except for one, and I was trying to figure out how they did it, but clearly it's really simple, and I, and I figured that I would show it to y'all, even though that there are not any videos out there that I could find with this trick. So my idea for this video is to show it to y'all just, so just so that y'all know how to do it. Now this is a very simple tutorial and as I go along the videos will get a little more complicated, a little more complex, but this is one of the simplest tutorials that, that I can literally do at, before I start getting more and more into complicated things. So this video is going to be how I turn a horizontal traffic light, excuse me, a vertical traffic light into a horizontal traffic light. Now, now if y'all don't know what I'm talking about, which hopefully you do, the, the traffic lights, at least within this pack, is all vertical. So after, after I get this set up, let me go ahead and get this set up. I am going to go ahead and get this all set up. Now for the verticals, like clearly y'all can see like this is vertical and then y'all know what horizontal is hopefully, like hopefully y'all know your directions. Okay, and we're going to this side apparently. So let me get this set up. So, so this little trick is how you are going to be able to get a little bit more creative with your traffic light designs. Okay, so that, that does look a little awkward. Let me switch that up real quick. Look a little better, no. Nope. I wanna make it like symmetrical, there we go. So here we got left turn signal and two straights. We're off to a good start. So after you have your intersection set up, I don't have an intersection, but this is just as a reference, you can start getting a little creative with your traffic light designs. Now for those of you who don't know how to do it, you're just gonna leave it up like this, and just not have to deal with it ever again. But today I'm, but today I'm gonna go into the workspace and within the signal, I don't need this one, but I'm gonna go into the workspace and do a little, a little bit of, of editing with these traffic lights. So after you go into the workspace, you go into the signal, you, you do the certain direction that you wanna do, the direction will highlight all three traffic signals. It does not do the pole, since, since clearly the box doesn't go all the way out here. It'll highlight all of the three traffic lights indicating within that direction. And then each light is set of when they were placed. So first, so that's the first light, second light, and that's the third light. So we're gonna start off with this light right here. Now, you have to make sure that you have the entire light selected but before you rotate it. Make sure that your rotation is set up either at like 90 degrees or 45 degrees. Depends on whichever you want to do, like in order to make sure that it is truly perpendicular or parallel to the road that is down here. So after you select it, make sure you, you do the rotate, do the correct rotation, pop it over, and now we're basically set up like this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to continue to do that, do all lights over one click to the left. If you wanna get fancy, whoops. If you wanna get fancy, you can do one click to the right, it, like what they have in Japan with the, light, the green light on the left and the red one on the right. So afterwards, now all your lights are like this. Now you may notice that these lights are a little funky because the, the, the visors are facing to the right instead of down on like you know where they're supposed to be. Same thing over here with the arrows. The arrows are just looking a little funky. But this is where it gets a little more complicated when it comes down to the, with the actual adjusting of the lights. But it's also very simple. So you have to make sure that you select the specific light, open up this drop arrow, go all the way down to, this, to the specific light colors, like G, R, and Y, and rotate these from there. And then after doing that, your visors are facing the, the correct way it's open at the bottom and it is properly set up to where uh, where it actually should be. So I'm going to do that. I'm, I'm closing all of the options just so that it looks a little bit neater. Now I'm going to do the same thing over here with the left turn signal. Got to make sure you do it for all the lights. It doesn't have to be for all lights within the intersection, but for clean, clean, cleanliness, cleanliness looks a lot better. So now all the arrows are set up and it looks a little bit more in the proper manner. Now, it, now if y'all are like a little bit of OCD-ish, y'all may notice already that these lights are not properly centered. If y'all want to, 
y'all can select the entire light again and just move it up just a little bit to make sure that it's properly centered on the pole. Otherwise, it just may look a little weird. And just like that, here we have the horizontal, uh, uh, yeah, horizontal traffic lights that you normally see like within Texas or in big cities like under bridges and stuff. So let's just go ahead and make sure that it still runs. It can still run and do its own thing. So we're, we're just we're just going to find and see if it works. So we're just is, we're just is, issuing the run command. And let's see what we got here. Boom! The lights are working. Now y'all have to make sure that like whenever you adjust. Y'all have to keep the signals within the direction. If you don't keep it in the direction, then it may not work properly. Like it, like if they go out, then the light will not work. The lights have got to stay in where it was originally placed in order for them to, in order for the lights to actually turn on. And there it goes. It's going through a phase right now, and the lights have officially changed to red. It's working just like a charm. Now, it, now if y'all want to truly get this all cleaned up, y'all may notice that in the back, we're not finished. Now, if y'all don't care about the back, like I don't care about it sometimes, y'all can leave it like this because no one is gonna see the back unless they're like directly underneath the traffic light. But if y'all want to change this, then you have to go inside, in, go inside the specific traffic light, go inside the light itself, look for the flat, rotate it, and then you're basically set. Basically do the same thing as you are with the rotating the lights itself. But if you do the flats, like what I'm doing right now, then it looks a little bit nicer. See, it looks it looks all connected better than this. So if y'all want to go to this extra step, make sure you select the flat, not the tunnel or the back, but the flat. That is what will help get you to this cleanliness feature for the traffic light. So that's about it for this little quick tutorial. I know it's not nothing much, but within my next videos, I will be able to get a little bit more of a deeper depth for more special kind of traffic lights, like like in like eight inch lights with a 12 inch light, or a double red arrow feature, with uh, with extending this by adding one more red arrow. Honestly, in my opinion, it's like a really cool feature feature that I found out while just experimenting, and as long as you keep everything in, it works properly. So other than that, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If y'all did like what you saw, please leave a like for more chances of a tutorial video to do with these kind of projects within Roblox Studio. If you like what you saw, please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. And other than that, I will see y'all in my next video. Goodbye.